Titanium Radio, Titanium Heavyweights, man. I just uh about to take it back to my high school here and start rapping out here, man. You should, dude. Nah, can't <laughs> do that, man. We got my man Clockwise in the building, man. How you, man? What's up? Bless, man. Happy to be here, dude. I know, man. I'm, I'm glad you made it here, man. I, I've been knowing Clockwise since I was about... 15, 16 yeah. years old since I was a teenager and I was rapping mm-hmm. and and we used to uh yeah yeah Q Q looked Q's at looking. me like what Larry I might have to hear some bars I'm glad later, you brought baby. it up because I was gonna bring it up too you know yeah, we man. we know government names we know everything yeah man I went to high school with this kid so so I've been knowing Clock for a long time and I and yeah. I love to see the growth you Back know at you. um I, I I always support from afar I should say because like I don't I I went to one of your shows a couple years ago. Up around the rock, yeah. you it. That's love, man. You know? I remember seeing you there. I was yeah. excited. It was very full circle because it's like you were the type of dude that was always constructively hip hop with me in the sense of like that rhymes okay, but go write another five of them. Yeah, Come I, back tomorrow. I mean, t- <laughs> constructive. I, I was I was destructive, man. I was. We like, were in high school. Yeah, so I was I was really mean. I guess. I, no, I looking no, back, I thought mean I was mean. mean. There was dudes that that didn't. That never want to see anybody try and do anything, but you weren't one of them. You were like, okay, that rhymes okay, but watch, you know, try this, this, and this. Listen to this beat. Right. Because you were thing, a little older, so you always gave me a couple little. Yeah, you know. yeah, yeah. And, and the thing, I, the thing I um I loved about Clockwise, right? I, I always could tell he loved the culture. You had a lot of love for the culture, but at the Bless. time we were teenagers you didn't really have a lane for yourself. I felt right. like you were still trying to find yourself, mm-hmm. and I don't think I was able to. Uh, articulate those thoughts well at the time but you know over time you were able to find yourself find your lane i yeah. see you uh, performing out around the rocks getting crazy love it's crazy you know? we, were, we were there with uh fear nothing band who are friends of ours that are crazy reggae acts and just like festival stuff just like where it's outside of one genre right you know right uh, the love is crazy like the audience the people really come to, to party you know what i'm saying it's cool man it's it, you you like you say you just kind of have to go where the horse takes you, you have to loosen the reins a little bit, you know, and so, just let it be the animal that it's going to be, and that's just where it went, you know? Right, right, right. So, I mean, you know, letting the horse go will it, uh, where it may, did you ever, like, you know, find yourself like, I don't know, man, if I want to go that direction, I want to keep it really traditional hip-hop? It's tough because, so, like, especially starting out, um, you know, you want to be, when you start out as an MC, I feel like anybody wants to be the hottest guy on the mixtape. You want to be, like, the guy that's the hottest guy on the posse cut and you have like very little goals but then the goals get bigger you're like i want to make a a bds you know radio program single or i want to shoot a video that's this this and this or i want to be able to get in a a publication like your goals start changing so it was like i had to identify who i was and who i wasn't very clearly before you can go out and you know accomplish anything you know because you're never going to make everybody happy so like i have days where i'm like man you know, I ran into a guy at the gas station that misses the old stuff and can't latch on to a band album, and right, you know, right, right. And that's tough. But then you have other people that um, that might not have given hip hop the just chance that it deserves, and maybe you get them into it because there's like a live drummer on the songs, and all of a sudden they can like appreciate what we love about hip hop and what we fell in love right, with. Right, right, right. The drummer brings it to life, man. That's the soul right there, man. It's cool. Definitely, man. I went to a Britney Crush show the, uh, a couple weeks ago. I love her. Sully's. I played with her. She's she had great. the uh, live drummer just brought all her stuff to life. It was already her dope. Her band is nice. Yeah. We played together in Brooklyn. Shout out to Brit. And, like, yeah, she has a keyboard player that's nasty, too. Word. Definitely, man. Um, So, you know, I... You know, you found your own lane, and finding your own lane, you don't really have too much competition, I don't, I don't feel like. There's not a lot of guys that, uh, you know, the only other guy I could think of off the top of my head is Joey Bats. That, yeah. that raps and has a band and can, you know, freestyle and, you know. Well, and that's where Joey's got it a little, is a little different, too. And I've known Joey for 10 years. I, I used to play with him when I was, like, 14 and, you know, nothing but love to Joey. But, yeah, see, he does the freestyle thing, which I don't even pretend to do. Okay. okay. <laughs> I'm a songwriter. Okay. I write hooks. I put cool musicians together. I'm a studio guy. I'm a mad scientist. But So that's where it's like I don't even consider anything competition. I feel like the world is big enough for us all to live in it. Um, and it, the rising tide lifts all the boats, you know what I mean? Mm. Like Even dudes like uh, like Chris Webby's camp has always been nice to me. I knew on cue back in the day. And like all that is helpful. It just makes people take you more seriously when you go in a room and you're from Connecticut. Word. It's like, oh, yeah. there's been... Something, you know, that we've seen from this. Right, like, right, it's right. not foreign. And so, you know, like, it's great. It's not competition. Uh, I wish Joey the best. So he's doing good. Word, man. Um, 
And one of the things I was like most proud about, like I said, I support from a, from a distance. I was like really happy seeing Clockwise on first take. If y'all don't know, yeah. Clockwise had a single on first take that played every day. How it's long crazy. did it play on first take? Well, we've had four all together wow. in, See, in two like years. like you were on there for a year, but you have four different songs. Yeah, so they're like four different leases that run in different times, and then they'll um, they'll pull them out for like, they ran one of them on the X Games too. So like they'll pull them out of the um, music department off the shelves for different things. But shout out to ESPN Music because they're like the type of people you want in a music office because they're like out there really like playing everything that you know comes through the office everything that's coded and can be put on air like they really try and find cool fits for stuff how did you link up with espn music not a lot of artists are even looking towards espn to get their music yeah um i was on, on tv i had a really good friend and confidant named matt willison who has since moved uh out to the west coast but he uh Always thought that the songs were had like this anthemic nature to them, um, the way we were writing the songs in the band, and he always felt that like sports somehow was gonna be some, and I didn't necessarily see it right away, but so we would like go down there, give them t-shirts, you know, talk our way in. Uh, we have a friend so there, end. yeah, we have a friend right there the named John who hey, works there. Right Big shout Bristol. out to John, and uh, I won't put him on blast, but John knows who he is over there, and uh, he would like. Let us come in and, and just talk and give people free stuff. And, like, eventually some intern kept playing the Round and Round song. was the first one we had in programming. And so the, the big executive guy who ends up being is a really nice guy, too, walked by. And he was like, you keep playing this Round and Round song? Just buy it. I don't know who sings it. <laughs> and, you know, sometimes you just got to get on the ground yeah. and just kiss hands and Word. all that. Kissing hands. Or um, shaking hands, kissing oh, I was babies. About to say, That's wow. what I meant. <laughs> yeah, 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 but no, all that. You gotta shake you gotta, hands. You gotta kiss, kiss hands sometimes. <laughs> Yo, listen. <laughs> Wash feet. ESPN. <laughs> Yo, no, that's but, that's uh, Disney cool. money though, for real, for real. The ch the, uh, the the checks say say Walt Disney Company, which is funny. But then the crazy part was they hit me to do the Patriots freestyle. Oh yeah. Which they were like, all right, wouldn't it be funny if like a rapper did a, a freestyle about football season? And it could have been really dumb, but I, I sat there with Bernice on Films, who are from Connecticut, and we shot like a pilot idea. And I just picked the Patriots because I live in New England. That We're all sense. from here. Is that your team? Yeah, I mean, I'm no, not even really say... a sports person, okay, though. Okay, okay, I'm, like, only a medium sports person. Right, I like right. college ball. But I was like, okay, we're going to do Patriots. We live in New England. And then they keep winning games, and then they won the Super Bowl. Yeah. And the thing's got, like, 20,000 views. Yeah. And I'm like... <laughs> I, I guess that's the best thing from the Patriots winning the Super Bowl is that Clockwise got 20,000 views on his video. So, shouts out to the Patriots for there, getting my man views up there. There was people that wrote on the comments like, this is going to jinx the Patriots. They're going to lose the Super Bowl now. <laughs> you got to at those guys right back. Like, man, we here. Yo, where are you from exactly? I, well, I grew up on Farmington Ave on the West Hartford side by Walgreens, and then I moved. I always wanted to live in the West End of Hartford, uh -huh. a couple blocks away. And so as I got older, after I traveled and, you know, figured out everything out about life, I moved to the West End. Right. You know, like, I could have moved somewhere else to New York or, you know, I spent some time out West, but I decided that was always where, you know what I mean? Like, where the, the, the artistry started for me is I would walk across to Hartford to, you know, by Tassane and everything there and just watch people out and watch people live in. And as a kid, that's what made me write. Word. Yo, um, you think you're the best rapper from West Hartford ever? That's like, that's like a joke though. Uh, yes, I, I would say that. <laughs> <laughs> yes. That's what I'm talking about. Cause I was thinking like, man, But who some, else is from West Hartford? Um, what's the dude that uh, did some tracks with Max B? Oh, he's, I don't, he's cool. I don't consider him a, a rapper. I consider him like a, a hook song singer he raps maybe. Gold clock yeah I don't know He he's made it very clear he doesn't want to do a song with me I, try, I would do a song with him but he, he don't know I Yo, try to reach out to it's him it's so funny right cause I heard Drew Prime Prime's um, my man oh Prime actually I don't know Prime from West Harvard? I don't know what his original residence right, is right, 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 but right. he grew up around us right, so I don't right, know right. I, I'm not, I don't I would not say that I, if Prime's in town I would not say the same thing okay cause Prime's my brother and he taught me a lot he's amazing fair enough so, I heard a track with you, Prime, and Nooms on it. Yes. And all you guys sound alike. 
<laughs> yeah, what's up with That's like the, the 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 white boy rap voice? Like, is that like is it a natural thing? Well, or is it's it like... weird because I actually think I sound opposite of like most of the white boy rap genre is like squeaking in my sneakers and I'm na 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 beaker and I'm like they rap like <laughs> right, you know what I right, mean? Right. Like they rap extra white for the white people and I was just like I just always I grew up on like Beanie Siegel, DMX, and, like Joe Budden and I just don't know how to rap like that. <laughs> so I, I never thought I sounded like the other white guys, but this is interesting to me. But but you know, Nooms and uh and uh, my man Prime, they both rap with very deep voices, so yes. they go the opposite route too. That's true. So when you guys all jump on the track, it sounds like... I guess that's true. I mean, we definitely... Uh, I know Nooms since he started rhyming, too. And, um, you know, we've definitely spent a lot of time together over the years in the studio, me, Prime, and him. And so, I, I don't know. I guess... I think it's like... I just had Gina on in a car, and I think that Tony sounds like 50 a lot. And I think it's because <laughs> yeah. you just hang around yeah. people a lot. That could be it. Definitely, man. One thing I love about Clockwise, and like I like I keep saying, man, like the support, I really I really dig your stuff, and like, I know you from a long time ago. So to see you doing these shows out here, it's like incredible Thank to me. You. It keeps me going. It's like motivation. When I saw you on first take, it was motivation because I know you. You know what I'm saying? Thank so if it's like real for you, it could be real for me too. Darn straight. So, Are you kidding me? And I'm so like proud of everything that you guys. I mean, even from being over at Weaver with QT, QT was there before, and you in your way in high school before. I even had one fan, you know what I mean? And, like, you guys, this is amazing. Like, you have the TV joint, you have this, you got the new location. This is great. So, I, I mean, my question was going to be, um, what's, like, the most outrageous show experience you have? Because I have to live vicariously through you. I just started, <laughs> you know, performing with Ace. Yeah. This is Hype Man. But oh, Ace, yeah. Ace gets all the groupies, though. Because you were at the Michi thing. Yet. We hung yeah. out at the yeah, Michi yeah, yeah, thing yeah, yeah, the other yeah. day. Ace still and gets Ace all the groupies. Day. So that, that, you know, I'm still trying to. Yo, I'm coming out with a mixtape soon, folks. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just playing. We should do a song as me, you, and Ace. Um, shout out to him because I, I see him everywhere. Um, no, I think. All right, so like one thing that happens when you're on the road is like, cause I'm doing, you know, I'm doing like eight cities at a time, four or five states at a time, and like you don't eat well. And, you know, you eat gas station food and you're, you're driving. Like, I don't have a driver. I'm driving in a van with people, with rappers. And, you know, I would drink too many monsters. And I, I had to quit drinking energy drinks on tour because at the Middle East in Boston, I drank like three monsters that day, didn't stop to get food, pulled up at the Middle East, ran on stage, you know. And then I see a bunch of people I know. In the crowd, one of my ex-girlfriends had moved to Boston and showed up there. So then I'm like extra, like, oh, man. And I almost threw up. Ooh. I didn't. I had to turn around <laughs> and let the band play for, like, 30 seconds. And then I was, and then it, luckily having a band, you just call it audible. You go, like, okay, do a guitar solo. Like, Word. We'll so you back. played it off, though. And I had to turn. Yo, dude, I was about to throw up on the front row, B. Davis. Wow. <laughs> or your ex-girlfriend. That would have been yeah, kind of dope, Yeah, because that's the extra part. That, that would have like... been kind of dope if you threw up on your ex-girlfriend at the front row of your show. So no <laughs> monsters on, on tours. And um, I do cigarettes, one cigarette an hour on car rides, because otherwise you smoke all your cigarettes. I'm a car ride. A, you're, a, you're a veteran, man. You're giving us real tips, man. <laughs> oh, that's fun, though, man. Well, yo, you should come out, man. We should build, man. Like, seriously, it would be awesome. Definitely, man. Definitely. I mean, I don't know. Uh, you know, you got the whole band ensemble on stage. It's a little... What Do you I'm have doing? a hype man? Uh, no, I mean, I'm interested because what I'm doing for this tour is a little different. Cause, I'm, like, I'm looking for that Becky love, too, clock, man. <laughs> I seen the love you was getting up around the rocks, clock. I see you, no, man. No, it's love. It would be fun, man. I think we would have to get you a name. I mean, like you'd, name? you'd need like a hype man name. You B. could be Davis? B. Davis. I mean, you could brand that. I've been working on that name okay. for a while. So. All right, we'll, we'll brand the <laughs> B. Davis. Yo, I'm filming them joints, man. I'm some laid back joints, man. Even the ones you said was aggressive clock. I was like, man, this is chill too. Yo, that's what's you just up. chill, man. I don't, I don't think I ever saw you get mad or anything. We all have a dark side, but my thing is that I feel like in general, and you probably know when anytime you're in the music for a while, you feel like everyone takes it too serious. Like, people take it way too serious. Like, you know, there's a difference between, like, being a professional and taking it way too serious. You know what I mean? Very true. At so the end of the day, we got in this to have fun. Right. That's what we fell in love with. What inspires people is not being mad about what didn't happen or what you didn't do or who doesn't like you. What inspires people is like falling in love with it every day and 
I just try to be grateful and fall in love with it every day. Word, right, man. Before you get up out of here, man, give give uh, the people some, some tour dates. I know you about to go on tour, a little East Coast tour. That's right, I said East Coast. He's yes. touring the whole, whole coast, people. It's Not cool. just an uh, a open mic here or open mic there. <laughs> no, these are built, yeah, clockwise shows. And that's why I need everybody's help and love on this one because these are clockwise shows that, you know, we need to fill seats for. And I'm really excited about it. We're doing... Um, Hartford, Bridgeport, Providence, Rhode Island for the first time. We're going to Brooklyn. Um, then we're going to be in Palmer, Mass., Boston, Mass. We might be tacking Philly on. Um, but this is the first time for us in, like, you know, in a Rhode Island or some of these areas in Massachusetts that are, like, you know, outside of the main drag. And so I really just hope that people come out and appreciate, like, the new band lineup I got right now. It's crazy. I'm rehearsing Sunday with like Jamie McDonald on guitar, who's an amazing guy from Connecticut. And we're just gonna bring, hopefully, the Connecticut sound and, and that appreciation to everybody. Word, man, clock, man. Like I said before, man, you, you're a constant motivation for me because uh, I, I've, I've been knowing you since I was 15, 16 years old. And I was like, man, and and, and I want to be real and, be, and, and say it, I was like, I was like, nah, clock, you should, you should stop type of thing. Like, man, this dude is, this dude is wack, he's corny. Now look at us today, man. Look how far you've come, man. I think you gotta stick to your guns with some things, you know? I don't know, like, I just always... I saw the other end of it, and, you know, maybe to this day, I'm still waiting on parts of the other end, you know oh, what I man. mean? Like, you're always trying to get better and, and learn more and be a student. Um, but, yo, it's, it's crazy to be here right now. Like, both of us could be in so many places that are not here right now in this moment. And, like, that's God or whatever you call it. And I, I just appreciate you and QT and everybody here so much. Definitely. Now, one more time, give up the contact information. It's um, Clockwise, K-L-O-K-W-I-Z-E on everything. The next thing for Hartford people, for Hartford listeners, is we will be at Real Artways in the Voices and Video Festival June 6th. Uh, and then the tour starts off next week. Uh, uh, June 13th at Bushnell Park. So hit us up online. It's Facebook, Twitter, clockwise.net. It's just as wrong as you can spell clockwise. <laughs> I hope you hear something, you click a joint, and it makes your day a little better. Oh, they about to hear something, clock, because we can't let you get up out of here without a little freestyle now. Don't, oh, don't okay. think I forgot, man. All right, let's do it. I'm ready now. It's classic enough for you? He said he wants some traditional hip hop. He said, give me some DJ Premier, this some, is good. some RZA, some Wu Tang. This is good. It's the best, best rapper from us Hartford ever. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't want to hear a word about your haters. I create cool. I'm the curator. Any bartender smile, she gets served later. Me, I got the windows up. Still puffin' herb player. Me and B got a lot in common. We both equal maniacs with supermodel problems. Woo. All I believe is karma. That's why I ain't worried in the spots. They ain't want no parts of. Nice. They ain't even got no pride. I got the spot occupied with no protests or cops aside. I'm a man of the people. But what folks ain't got, they gon' take. I'm trying to keep you. Uh. All in my pocket. Bombs flying and rockets at the throne. But I'm known to survive, kid. I got this. I be out with no entourage. You wanna kiss me or kill me? It's not too hard. Switch a beat up, let's go. Oh, you got more, people. You got more, man. You brought these bars. Clockwise, at Clockwise on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. QT. Oh, man. Yeah. Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. Last world. Check out that new album, The Art of Falling Apart. Everywhere. Yeah. The man in charge, the fans applaud. I used to have chicks swinging on my handlebars. Now I got a dime passenger with sandals on. We headed to the beach, homie. Get your cameras gone. Click. Stop and pop me like paparazzi. They can't hit God body when the father watch me. Lucifer, son of the morning. I'm yawning. Brushing off my shoulders, cause devils is on them. Incredible calmness with a better performance. Then whoever was deader than them and never could charm them. Oh, I'm so gifted. Flow is prolific. His a secret. None of these locals hold digits. They try to fool you. Nope, but don't listen. They hoping for pimping, but broke with no pivot. Talk that I see that I did it. Vinny, Vetti, Vici. I ain't hit your block yet. I bet it's easy. Bitter with hope. Deliver rhythm with smoke. I got the live band now like I'm Citizen Coke. Ha! You ain't a gangster. Nah, they playing me though. It's clockwise. I'm chilling up on Titanium Radio. Say the 9.9 to that flag.
Uh. Uh, no, uh. man, this fun, man. <laughs> <laughs> Titanium Radio, Titanium Heavyweight. Shout out to Clockwise for passing through. Off it. 860-695-7562. Woo. Titanium Radio, let's do it. 